Hello, everybody, and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Oriental Empires. I had a very brief series, only about 10 episodes of Oriental Empires going before, and I did rather poorly, mostly because I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. So I'm going to start a new one today, I think. I was playing as the Zhou, which I think that's how that's pronounced. I was playing as the Zhou, and I did, I did poorly. Um, but I, I'm thinking maybe I try to play as someone who's, uh, in a corner, so there's less opportunity for me to get, like, punched in the face early. Like, who are these guys? The, uh, Dingling. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's a rough name for, for me. Herders. Thought and knowledge rate reduced by 30%. Power development reduced by 30%. That's 20% chance to kill with bows. 20% chance when fighting in, uh, to, to kill when fighting in forests. De uh, can develop rate increase by 20%. Definitely thinking maybe playing someone like on the edge is probably a good idea. Because I, I picked Zhou, who's right in the center, and I just got, I, you know, I got, I got attacked by people from all, all edges here. What about the Wu? Farmers. Reduced rate of chariot and cav units by 50%. Naval units at 50% chance to kill, 10% chance to kill with bladed weapons. Dong Yi. I think it up here is good, because all these guys are farmers. Up here with the herders? I think that sounds that sounds kind of cool. And this will probably give me a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of room to work with. Difficulty normal, max turns, 300. I, well, I don't know. I went through, all, like, 100 really fast, so why don't we just crank that up? I'd, I'd rather have it on, like, infinite or something like that. Hmm. Dog wrong. Well, they're kind of on the side, too, aren't they? Combat effectiveness by 10%. You're living in the north of Mongolia. Hunting and fishing. Animal herding ways of the steppe people. Quite primitive, but historically were tough and adaptive enough to endure over a long period of time. That one I'm going to have trouble pronouncing. So let's go with Dingling. Let's do that. You start as a rather primitive herding faction in northern Mongolia on the fringes of Siberia. I do love me some Siberia. To your south are the dangerous... Uh, Ziangu? I thought that was X is a Z pronunciation, maybe? New? Zon? Zianyu? Something, I don't know. Someone will correct me, I'm sure. But otherwise, there are wide lands for you to occupy to the east and west. Okay. Uh, well, I like this start already. Dingling. This is... Wait, okay, that's... Those are settlers. Is that encounter? Oh, those are encounter opportunities is what those are. So, why don't we... Oh, horsies. Wild horsies. I like that. Uh, this prop that might be in within range of this guy. Mm -mm. Not yet, at least. All right. So, why don't we start exploring down this way, and we'll just take these guys and uh, east or west, east or west. I think I'm gonna go east, and I'm gonna start sending these guys east. See what I can find. And then here, what we're gonna want to do is probably. You need to develop agriculture before you construct farms. Right, that's a thing. We're herders, not farmers. I forgot about that already. Let's go to tech. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Minus 30, minus 30, minus 30, plus 20. That's, that's very interesting, very interesting. All right, so crafting. Rammed earth wall, ceramics, bronze making, precious metal work, jade working, silk. Why don't we start with bronze? And I definitely think we're going to want to start with the rammed earth walls. Or should we, you know what? Let's bite the bullet and say, let's, let's figure out agriculture first and foremost. And we'll do the yin and yang. And let's see, knowledge. Horse domestication, yeah, definitely horse domestication. 
So I get minus 30 to these, plus 20 to these, which should mean I should be able to, like, capitalize, not on, like, warfare, but on, but on, on economics, which I love. We have, we do have some money to start with, which means I can construct a copper pit right off the bat for 800 gold. Generates income of 20 and produces copper for trade, which is going to be good once we get our next city up. Uh, that's a bower. That's the bazaar, which allows two isolated for trade. I know it is right now. But, so we're not, because it's got upkeep, we're not going to build it right now. But we will, we'll do it soon. Alright, let's, let's make sure these guys are on fast. I definitely like trying to play the economic, I, I know it's a game about war, but I like trying to do the economic thing. Um, gives you opportunity to become a wide-ranging horse riding culture, prior prioritize horse archery and nomadism technologies to achieve this. Some fertile plains for farming available too, which gives you another option to develop agriculture and develop a mixed economy. I'm definitely liking that it, there, there seems to be different types of play styles available to you. I like that. I don't... So far, uh, I, I'm th I'm not a fan of the combat so far. Which is why I'm thinking, like, the, like nomadic traders sounds cool. Like, let's let's figure out what this is. What is that? Gentle Hills. Wait, what is... Is that just like a... Like a yurt or something? Try to settle within three hexes of a wild game or fish resource. Okay, so let, let's keep heading this way and see what we can find. And one more turn for that. City's growing. That's good. So these are herding. Population herding. I like that. Building and then a population unemployed. So we have 21 flocks. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go. I'm kind of glad I picked these guys because it's clearly a different play style than what I did before. And we. Why can't I. Maybe I need to process a turn standing on top of that. Okay. These are all decent city placements, it's telling me. Let's see. Wild horses. There's no problem obtaining steeds for mounted warriors. A settlement that controls or has adjacent territory to this resource can trade them for additional income. So that's good. Let's, uh... Let's move a little further to see what we can come up with. Let's move up this way. And I'll process, yeah. I'm just going to leave you standing there, because then I should get the little encounter and see what it gives me. Here we go. Girl's indeed beautiful, and your lord has become bespotted with her. He wastes time uh, with romantic dalliances instead of intending for his affairs, and his men see... He's a fool ruled by a woman. Gain chi, reduce ren. Oh, I can't, I can't even say no to that. That's just something that, oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. So that's, that's this guy. Right? Where does it say my chi and ren? Don't actually know, but let's keep him exploring. Ooh! One, two. That'll definitely give me access to the gold. One, two. And that would... Right there. That's perfect, I think. Because that'll give me access to the horses and the gold. So, boop! Touching those horses. So now we're going to go back to the capital. Well, I actually think I might be able to afford this right now. 1,200. Okay, let's go over here. To Ding Ling and say uh, construct the bazaar. All right, one more turn and we'll be able to do that. Cool. 
I'm glad I decided to take that because I can get access to gold now. Gold! My poor faction leader. Wild game. Cool. Just kind of going to explore the steps here. So, uh, 1,200. So now I can build the gold mine, which generates solid income. And what we should also do... Can I afford it? I can't put anybody in here just yet. Make sure that there is a, a garrison of at least some tribesmen in here. Let's recruit two. And then what I'll do is... I'll send one of these over here. So make sure there's at least someone inside the cities. So like a wandering noble just can't come by and go, Hey, this city's mine now. And nice. Bronze making already finished. Chi increases. And bizarre. Oh, don't tell me that's too far away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, that's not too far away. It's tw 12 tiles, I thought. Oh, no, it does have a trade route. Oh, it just only appears in this map mode. Okay, cool. I mean, there's not going to be a lot of trade just yet. It's just internal, but we, we got to wait. We got to wait on that. Oh, and before we forget, it's popping over here. Bronze armor. Um, Lao's Armorer, Pottery Workshop. Increases the value of, tr uh, value of bronze trade by 30%. I think we would need the four. Yeah, let's go ahead and do precious metals. Now, do we have access to the foundry in our capital? Foundry. Produces bronze for trade. So, I think that's the next thing I should build. I did already splurge on the gold mine, but I want to get that income going right away. Gotta spend money to make money. I'm a little bummed that all the music in this game is copyrighted. What is going on here? Did they just... We got more hurt flaw. I guess they're just working that land now by because instead of building farms, yeah, they're just like, hey, we're working this land now. It's fine by me, really. And did trade is going that way. So if we go here, all right, not work, not really working out yet. It's inter it's it's definitely interesting that the that we're like nomadic herders so the people kind of you know they just go out and tend to the flocks on their own accord I like that that's pretty cool We'll just keep exploring I'm going to try to see if I can send this guy up and around And what do we you know what we should do let's take him see if we can't deal with some of these other things these other encounter possibilities. So if I produce the foundry here, we should produce bronze to export over here. And then this place should have gold, right? Well, let's uh, let's give this the old, the old, the old shot here. Let's build that. City's growing. Eh, it's a little bit on the slow side. But it's going. Head up this way. Kind of go around that forest. Very interesting that we don't have farms. I like that it gives it a different, different flavor. Oh, is this the edge of the map? Yeah, that's the edge of the map. Might as well go up and see what's there. Thought progress again. Because... Oh, no. Not not again. That one. All right. What do we got here? 
Increases the chi of all new characters. I think that's a good thing to get early. See what happens. That'll be an encounter possibility next turn. Oh yeah, the hills are getting pretty thick up here, so let's go up this way. Oh, I finished, uh, finished that one too. Uh, I don't have access to any jade. Hmm. Pottery workshop would be nice for trade, though. Increase the value of... Yeah, let's... Because we are... Yeah, let's do that. Advanced bronze working. Because we are working on... The foundry here. Which will be done in a turn. Two turns for the gold mine. Apologies, great lord, but although I have earned some renown in my field, you have many wise men in your service, and there's nothing I can teach them, so... Precious metal working. Is this what he... He would have given us this. Maybe that's what it was. He would have given us that, but we already had it. Famous scholar. Okay, let's. Uh, that's another famous scholar. Let's see what happens. Whoop. Gotta get up here through the forest. Push on through. Alrighty. Oh yeah, I'll pay three hundred ducats for. Uh, for attack, easy. That's an easy choice. Teacher. Philosopher. What I should probably do is wait till I have a little bit more money before I, I hit some of these so that we have the option to, to actually utilize them. Okay, we got some... Starting to get some external trade. Copper, bronze. That's good. In this place, we're not trading yet, but we don't have the gold mine yet. I don't... Do we actually trade gold? I, re, I don't remember if it actually created a trade good, or if it just made... It just it just increased your income. I think it just increases your income. Is this my... Uh, that's my culture. I have authority of zero, so I definitely need to increase my authority. Okay. Now, I think... Which ones of these increase authority? Oh, yeah, down in here. Okay, yeah. Knowledge increases authority. Oh, yeah, there we go. Gold pit. Very nice. Very nice indeed. We don't have agriculture, so that's not happening. I would like to have some farms. For sure. Which is why I'm I'm splurging on spending spending time working on that. Now this guy's gotta be up here for a while. Maybe I'll send this guy around this way. Very mountainous. I wanna find like the coastline. Horse domestication. Horse domestication will be good for us. I already have access to horses, so it should produce that should allow me to produce uh, a trade good from, um, what is that? Uh, it would be Gooey Fang. In, in English, at least. Gooey Fang. Exile. He asked for nothing. Ooh, they already got three cities sitting right next to each other, don't they? Zhang Yu. Uh, Zhang uh, Yu? Is that... That sounds kind of right-ish. How are we doing here? That trade's pretty poor still, but what we need to do is I need to get my authority up, throw down another... Uh... Ooh, I actually got some unrest too. Get my authority up and throw down another city. So... Ooh. It's pricey. How's the... 
Is it nobles? Nobles. What are they upset about? Insufficient authority. Yeah. My authority is definitely a problem. I kind of don't want to... I want to bust out another city, but I also don't want to bust out another city until I have more authority to work with. Because everybody's real pissy. Was that water? Oh, that's... Yeah, that's water. It's, it's a lake. Whoops. I thought it was just like more Terra Incognita. I didn't notice the subtle, subtle difference in color there. Income's starting to creep up a little. What about over here? So would I need to build another bazaar here? Also, these people should be a little happier now, right? They don't seem any happier. Even with my greater authority, maybe it takes a second to kick in. Horse riding. Calendar. Noble archers. Um... I think I just need to try to do whatever I can to get get my authority up. Because I, I can't, I, the, there's unrest. I really can't throw down another city, another city with so much unrest. Maybe it takes a second for the, like a turn to process while you have more authority for that stuff to go down. Yeah, it's down a little bit now. Okay, that's not as bad. Okay. No growth here, but we are working on the farming. That's going to take a little while, though. 14 turns, 6 more turns for advanced brown working. Wei Chi and the calendar are both a little ways off, too. Yeah, we got a little bit of money, so let's see if we can go snag some technology. Maybe we'll get lucky, get another authority point. Not making nearly as much from trade as I hoped. Copper and bronze. It's making a little bit. Not enough to actually be, you, you know, a useful commodity right now. And I think I would need a bazaar here to actually be able to export horses. Can trade them for additional income. Oh, wow, you are just stuck up here, aren't you? That is just forest upon... That, that is a lot of dense territory I sent you into. Let's see what we can get from over here. Maybe another tech. With your isolated position, one option is to play a peaceful game and try to win a cultural victory. Okay. It's good to know that that's actually a thing you can do. You need to conquer factions far to the south... Once you have a few settlements, you might be able to sneak a settler or two beyond the desert and establish a base of operations there. Uh, that was a good suggestion, actually. Nope, he's not going to be able to give me anything. On to the next one. Income's getting up as the population rises. Nope, nope, didn't want to do that. I just wanted to see what that button was. I'm glad it, glad it, she gave me an are you sure suggestion there. You really sure you want to blow up your second city? I'm not sure I want to do that. Not at all. Ooh, encounter. What do we got here? Noblewoman. Let's go, let's go check out Mrs. Noblewoman here. Settler is available. It's good to know he's there, but I'm not going to use him right now. A little bummed I can't, I'm not getting anything from these. I got one tech, that was good. I only had to pay 300 ducats for it, too. That's, that was an easy choice. And then what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll explore out this way, too. Encounter. Improved thought advancement rate by 11%. Easy choice. 
All right, I'm gonna send him up here. I'm just gonna start exploring. See what we can see. All right, anything I could do to increase, we could put in some defenses. Kinda don't wanna waste my money, well, spend my money. on things that aren't going to necessarily provide me any income right now. Overland trade within 12 hexes, trade multiplier times two, produ produces items for trade, increase internal trade by 50%. It seems to me like it's, it would be useful to build a bazaar in like all of your settlements. As long as they, because like, especially, as long as they produce a trade good. That's what it seems like to me. And I'm not, I've only, I, I played this this game for nine episodes before, which is a total of a few hours. Uh, four, four, and a, between four and four and a half, between four and five hours. And I started to get the hang of some of it. Hurting. You don't need farms of tribes, but it's difficult to create settlements larger than towns due to the low population density supported by herding. By great power, you need some uh, some city. Oh well, I'm you know working on that. Join his ancestors, and my lands are beset by bandits. They would be grant me your protection. I will give you half of all I put. Ask for nothing. Offers gold. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, your husband has uh, has left the earthly plane, but uh, rest assured, he. Uh, rests gently with his ancestors. That was worth it, right there. Look at that. That's a mu that a hundred ducats to to reduce that penalty by eleven percent. So that was nearly half of the penalty I was taking. I okay, mean, that creates farms, rammed earth wall. So knowledge gets me the little. F I, okay, okay. I think the little fist gives me authority. Yeah. Nope, we were working on that one. Let's finish it off. So let's see. Let's, okay, right now we're producing 62 here and 76 here. So let's process a turn and see what happens in terms of our, our economy. It only cost 20 to keep the bazaar going. So now let's see. That went up to 79. But I, I don't know if they're actually trading yet. Okay, here we go. Horses. Yeah, now it goes back and forth. And local specialties. So it costs 20. We're making 12, 14. So it's not quite paying for itself right now. But I think it will soon. So that increases the value of our bronze by 20%. Let's go ahead and do the pottery workshop. I love the idea of doing a peaceful game in this. Just going for a cultural victory. I love that idea. Don't really know how it works, but I love it. Like, just sitting on the sidelines, on the outskirts of Siberia, and and war profiteering with all the warring states. Both units and buildings have upkeep. Make sure you have enough military units. Growing your population by developing agriculture and getting a good trade network going is key to a strong economy. Alright, what do we got here? Beautiful girl. Last beautiful girl led me astray. Let's see what happens. 81. So, like, in terms of trade, I'm paying 20 for the bazaar here, and it's producing 7, 11, 14, 15, 16. So, it's not not quite producing yet. There's, they're, they're not really doing too much, it looks like. But we're working on that. Oh, those guys got four cities already. 
but at least like these guys should start beginning let's see dissatisfaction happiness suppression yeah it looks like it's not gonna get much bigger than that so now that we have this authority I think it might be it's time to work on another another settlement but that does involve fair or hell to put it what is this more coppers there's lots of copper and horses maybe down here some wild game we could let's let's explore down this way and see what we can't find around this little hillock oh 420 uh reduce chi by two or yeah reduce ren by three. Oh. These beautiful women! I gotta stop fighting beautiful women out in the, out in the the, 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 like, Siberian tundra. Well, not in Siberia, we're in, like, the steppes. They're leading me astray, I say! Astray! Alright, I think we're about to get, uh, we're gonna get another authority this turn. Yeah. So, the way the bazaars work is they produce... They, they, they allow stuff to be exported. Trade goods to be exported, I think. Ren increases. Age and wisdom to all, but this man has learned lessons from his experience. Yeah, this guy has. Mr. I can't, <laughs> you know, the beautiful women lead me astray. He hasn't learned anything. Skilled hunter. See what he's got. All right, so let's grab this authority right here. And what is this? Hot cold therapy. Horse riding, I think, is going to be a good thing to try to grab. But again, I need that authority. So we're going to grab that real quick. And we, all, we almost have farms. We almost have ag agriculture figured out. But we're going to have to end this episode right here because we are out of time. But thank you for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed. You can find a link in the description below to the whole playlist, so you can watch the whole thing in one, you, you, you know, from with autoplay on from one to the next without having to, uh, you know, manually find the next episode. And I'll see all of you guys next time. <laughs>